In recent years, there is growing interest in combining 2D and 3D non-photorealistic styles on the edges of computer-generated animations. For instance, films such as Paper Man and Out add lines and noise effects to silhouette edges. Additionally, previous work in academia applies brush strokes and textures to edges. However, these approaches are limited to generating effects directly on edges. We present a novel technique that enables the stylization of the inside and outside of surface contours. Our approach is centered on three main contributions. First, we propose a scheme that cools contours based on the visibility and cleans up the curved layout in order to reduce fragmentation in image space. We then introduce an algorithm that interpolates normals smoothly both along the curves and between frames, thus producing temporally consistent curve orientations. Finally, we generate oriented geometry strips, which we refer to as ribbons, by offsetting surface contours while trimming folds and intersections. To begin culling the contours, we start with silhouette and intersection curves generated from the camera viewpoint. If we remove the occluded curve points with the single ray visibility test, there are gaps in the lines. To solve this problem, first, our method uses 2D chopping to determine curve sections delineated by sharp angles and intersections. Then, a calculated visibility probability is used as a metric for showing the points in these sections. To start, a cylinder is placed around each original curve point. Within each cylinder, new random points are sampled. For each sampled point, we run a ray intersection test to determine if it is visible to the camera. Using the results of those tests, we determine the visibility probability for each original curve point. All sections with a high average visibility probability are fully visible in the image. Our next step is to clean up the lines in 2D to reduce clutter and pops. First, curves that are close together are merged. Next, along a curve, edges, which are almost parallel to each other, are detected and the shorter edge is deleted. We also delete small loops and extra edges. This method creates a single smooth curve from multiple curves that are close together. Our method produces cleaner and more consistent curves than just using a single ray visibility test. Next, we create a temporally consistent parameterization along the curves. While simply copying the normals from the mesh produces pleasing results for silhouette curves, with intersection curves, it causes distracting flickering. To create consistently oriented normals, we need to fix the copy normals which are skewed and inconsistent over space and time. To fix the skewed normals, we replace them with their angle bisector. To fix the alignment, we use a Markov random field to spatially align the normals along the curves in the first frame, and then temporally track the alignment to fix subsequent frames. From the adjusted curve normals, we create and trim a ribbon. To remove overlaps along the curves, we trim to a medial axis approximation from the points Bernoulli diagram. Additionally, we trim to intersections with the original curves. Here are some results from our method. We can take curves and apply a thick effect to the outside and a thinner effect to the inside. Another way to create more styles is to change how the width of the ribbon is calculated. This shows a caustic shader with no edge effect. Here, we use a sign function to vary the inside ribbon width for a wave-like effect. For another shot, we apply a tune shading effect with no edges. Adding a ribbon with a varying width based on the distance to the camera makes the character stand out more. In this watercolor style, we render just the curves with tapering towards the ends. Additionally, we can offset the curves based on the mesh's velocity using our temporally consistent normals. We can also use our ribbons to apply effects on shadow edges. Here, we apply a thick yellow ribbon to the outside of the shadow silhouette and a thin blue ribbon to the inside. We can also include lines inside the shadow region, such as those towards the light or those away from it. For shadows that stretch across a ground plane, 
we can deform the ribbon over the stretched areas. The shadow edge is colored based on the distance from the caster to the ground. We can also combine shadow and character edges. An inside shadow ribbon is tapered based on the distance from the ground. Also, inside character ribbons have their color varied on the distance from the curves. Thank you.